Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week it's that time of the year where I get to show you my current Todoist setup. Now for those of you who are new to this channel, twice a year I show you my real Todoist account to show you how my Todoist is evolving over time. And the reason I do this is because I want to be able to give you guys some ideas on some of the ways that you can get the most out of Todoist and hopefully I will spark a few ideas. Now before we go any further I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video then please help me by clicking on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips and tricks and news on using this incredible application Todoist then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let me take you into my Todoist now and I'm going to show you my current late 2020 setup. Right, so here we go. So what is the difference between what I was doing in February and what am I doing now in October? Well, essentially very little has changed. Two areas have changed. That's here, purpose and objectives, which I will come to in a moment, and my 2021 plan, and I'll explain those in a second. Essentially, I use the time sector system. What other system is there? Haha. -ha. Well, and what the time sector system basically means is what you're doing is you're managing your tasks by when you are going to do them. So I have my this week, next week, this month, next month, long term and my routines. Now inside my this week project folder, if you like, I only have two tasks remaining this week. Now there's a reason for that. That's not normal. That's just simply because this week I really want to focus on building the, the, my building your own Apple productivity course update and I really need to focus on that and that's where I put most of my effort. Also it is towards the end of this week so I have completed quite a few of the other tasks anyway but now with the remaining two or three days of this week that is where I want to put my focus. I really want to get that ready so that I can start recording the update. Now my recurring areas of focus these are the really important tasks that I have every single week. There are actually 21 of those and as you can see when you look at the dates here these these are actually quite a few of those tasks will come up on a daily basis. And likewise with my routines. What I've done here with my routines is I've actually changed from sub projects to sections simply because I now have the option if I wish, which I'm not really that concerned about, is here I can switch these to board view if I wish, although these don't necessarily work for me this way but it gives me that option if I want it. I do like it, prefer, I do prefer it as separate lists so that I can focus in on the list when I'm doing my uh, weekly reviews. And also let's move into the easier one here, the 2021 plan. Now I brought this into Todoist simply again because I was actually having issues with Evernote and I've been bitterly disappointed with their new update to the point where I'm now looking at using OneNote. More on that in a moment. And so what I've done is I brought forward my 2021 plan. Now this is my project plan. This is not my goals or anything else for next year. This is just my, my pr project goals for project that I want to do in the different quarters next year. And I really do like it in the board view because then I can make sure I'm not overextending myself in any particular quarter. Now of course quarter one is going to be filling up a little bit now because that's only two and a half months away but Q2, Q3, Q4 those are the things that I'm just looking at. The course updates are sort of fixed. I know I'm going to likely to be taking my uh, Christmas trip to Ireland in Q2 because we're not likely to be able to travel this year which is fine. It'd be nice to go to Ireland when it's not cold, wet and windy. So I'm looking forward to that. And also I've got my Black Friday campaign which comes up every year. So what's new? Well, what's new is my purpose and outcomes. Now I probably had this back in February but it was done very differently. Now what I've done is I've converted this into a board and I've added this column here. This is my purpose. This is to remind me why I am 
I'm doing what I'm doing, which is and also to give me a few little things that I want to keep focused on. Now, my main purpose with this YouTube channel and with everything I do these days is to help as many people as I can to become better organized and more productive. That is my number one purpose, if you like, for doing my podcast, for doing this YouTube channel, for making these online courses. I also, my folk, something to keep me reminded is to focus on the outcomes, not activities. When you focus on the activities, you're not always completely sure that you're moving in the right direction. When you focus on the outcome, what is it you want to achieve? When you stay focused on that, your brain will have a way of finding the solution if you do come upon a problem. And what problem, this is a question that I'm asking myself and I really want it front and center for next year, is what are the important problems in my field, productivity and time management, and what are, why am I not working on them? Or if I am working on, which I am, why not? So these are some things that I'm just trying to keep front and center. Future plans, again, that's just something that I really want to start building into my <clears throat> weekly uh, projects. And then the main area, which is over here, these are the two focused areas. So these are not <clears throat> tasks or projects as such, although the Apple Productivity course is. What this focus means is this is what I want to focus on this week. I want to make sure that I spend some time on my Apple Productivity course each day this week. And I also want to make sure I exercise seven days this week. A priority because my exercise over the last couple of weeks has been a little bit inconsistent and I really wanted to get back into the groove. And again, the outcome for this week is to complete the outline for the Apple Productivity course. Now, what I've done now is for my dashboard has changed a little bit. So my home button, or you can just hit H here, uh, that gives you your my dashboard. Now, my dashboard is a filter uh, which is just for those of you who are curious, because I know I always get asked this question. The dashboard is filter for this, and obviously it's going to be different to you. Uh, depends how you've got your structure set up. But I've got right up at the very top the the section this week's focus. Then I've got my inbox overdue and today. I want to be able to see those items. So this is my dashboard. It's a great place to start each day because I'm always immediately reminded of what I'm focusing on this week. And that's a really good way. And if you are looking at considering to include this into your own dashboard, I would give you a word of advice. Don't go beyond three areas to focus on because once you start going beyond three, then it just becomes another long list that you're looking at. The shorter, the better. If you can focus on one thing each week, you're going to be massively productive on that thing. But if you start having five or six or seven different focuses, you're not going to be focused on any of them because there's too many. So keep this as short and as simple as you possibly can. This week, I've got two. My Apple Productivity cause and my exercise. Then I have my inbox. Well, it's still it's about 10.30 in the morning right now. So I've got I've not collected anything just yet. And then these are the tasks that I have for today. Now to help me focus on the most important tasks, I have today's focus, which I have these five items. I've actually done my two objectives already for today, but I've got these screencasts, which I'm doing right now. So that will be soon finished. As soon as I've done that, I will probably do my exercise and then I will get on and plan, continue planning the Apple Productivity course. And I've got to send out some emails, do the subtitles for tomorrow's YouTube, today's YouTube video, which is coming out today. And I've got a, 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 a book to review for a colleague of mine. So that's my most important task for today, if you like. These are my MITs. And what I like to do is to keep these, uh, keep this list, again, to a maximum of 10 items, because I do the 2 plus 8 uh, prioritization system. Now, for those of you who've asked before, what's the difference? Well, the difference between today's focus and focus 10, focus 10 is including the actual, the, the, the tasks that I've considered for tomorrow are going to be very important. Now, you'll see that here, for example, send out COD complete uh, emails, that's going to recur, it's going to come up tomorrow, that will come up on Sunday, and hopefully these will be finished. So these are tasks that are already scheduled for tomorrow. So and I've also got my today's tasks here, just in case I don't complete them. So basically, on a day to day basis, this is where I'm focused today's focused. At the end of the day, when I'm doing my planning, I go in there, hopefully this area now is is 
zero because I've completed all those tasks and I only have those. Again, that's a filter. And for those of you, because I know every time I do these videos, I'm asked, what's the filter? Filter is simple, two days and not P4. Not is the exclamation mark. So anything that's not flagged does not come up in this list. And so that's essentially the main differences. That's essentially how I have my Todoist set up now. Just in, as in February, I have absolutely no labels. I'm just going there. No labels because labels are useless to me because of the way I work. It might be different for you, but right now it is definitely not something that I need or use. So there you go. That's how I have my real Todoist account. This is not my demo account. This is my real account of Todoist. And I keep it as simple as I possibly can. And I stay focused on this. Now, the other thing I should point out is projects, because some people, if you're new to my system, are wondering what's happening to your projects. Well, my projects are kept in my notes app. Now, one of the things that's going on right now is, as I mentioned, Evernote is now very, very, very bad. Their update is just horrible. That's just my opinion. And so I'm currently transferring my project work over to OneNote simply because OneNote and my iPad is such a brilliant um, work. It just works brilliantly. And I'll show you what I mean by that is if you look at my, this is a project that I actually finished already. But here, what I did was I added a load of notes here to, and I can just add in, and from my iPad, I can use the Apple Pencil, and I can actually just create all sorts of wonderful things. And I can also create the timeline here, which I did. So that's one of the reasons why I really like that. And my master project list is here. And as you can see, I have two tasks left to do, which I can just tap in there. I can actually click on here and highlight these if I, you know, if I so wished, if I wanted to just highlight them, and I can change the colors. You know, none of this, I, I mean, I can do this in Evernote now, but it's just oh, don't get me started. It's horrible. So there you go. Um, so that's essentially how I have my Todoist set up. My projects are managed from my notes app. And pretty much all I need to do is to tell me is what are my tasks for today? And that's what it does brilliantly. Because after all, Todoist is a task manager. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope it's given you some ideas. If you do have any questions about this setup, then please feel free to ask them in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use easy to maintain so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.